I am a CG artist and I love creating animations. There's just one problem. I'm super, super slow at it. So I thought I'd challenge myself to create one animation a day for the next seven days. The first task for day one is to think of some ideas. I think I'm going to start with this one here. I'm kind of imagining this field with very long grass. The sun is almost gone and fireflies are flying around. So let's start with the grass. Oh, this is obviously not great. We definitely need more grass variation, so I'll just add that. Three hours have now passed, and we're still on the grass. Great. <laughs> ah, look at him. He doesn't know he wasn't recording his screen for two hours. But anyway, in the time I made some trees, I modeled a firefly and made them fly around the scene. Then I added some finishing touches in the compositor and it's done. Here's the final render. And I'm not really happy with this, but it's okay. Day two. The idea is to have this guy standing underwater, doing fight moves and controlling the water currents. But first I'll have to create the character. Once done with him, I started animating using this reference video I recorded. Forget that you saw that. Forget it. Seeing my absolutely amazing animation, I think it's going to take too long to make it look actually good. So I'm gonna opt for using a Mixamo animation instead. And there we have it. Now the character is animated. So now I'll move on to actually making it look like he's underwater. Almost done. I'll just add some bubbles and plants that'll react to his movement and convey that he's controlling the water. So now it's done. Here's the day two result. It's day three. And I think today I'll make a scene where there are loads of people on a campground sitting around a fire at night. But I can't help but feel this is getting a little too easy. So I think I raised the stakes by reducing the time I have to finish the scene each day. So today I limit it to six hours, tomorrow to four, then to three, and on the last day to one. If I'm actually getting faster, that shouldn't be a problem, right? I'll start by drawing some very good and detailed concept art. And done. I've now made this little fireplace and now I just have to simulate the fire itself. Hopefully that'll be relatively quick because normally fire takes a long time. So I'm currently simulating the fire, but that's taking way too long. So I thought I'd just import a video of a fire and key out the background. And that actually looks pretty <clears throat> okay. At this point I have four hours left, so I really need to start working on the environment. It's not that it's terrible, it's just that it's not good at all. So I fixed the grass, the mountains, I just fixed everything, okay? So here's the final render for day three. It's day four, so today I only have four hours to make my render. The idea is a grass field with trees, bushes, rocks and a river flowing through it. Let's go! First I'll have to make a river. And it's pretty bad. So I'll just try to simulate it. And as you can see, I wasted 40 minutes. <laughs> so I'll continue working on the procedural version. And I think the river looks pretty good now. So next I'll make the environment. I feel like this render is missing a area of interest, I guess. So I'll just add a little paper bow. And now the time is over. So here's the render. And yes, I know it's weird that the boat isn't floating away. I only had very little time, so I didn't have time to fix that. It's day five. Yesterday was already pretty close. And today I only have three hours. So I think I've identified another huge bottleneck in my 3D process. And that's searching assets, downloading them, sorting them into the right folder, then having to import them into Blender. That's just real clunky and slow and takes away most of my time. So I've bought the Blender Kit subscription because they have a really good Blender add-on. You can just drag and drop the assets into Blender. And when I asked them, they've also been so kind to give me an affiliate link. So if you're interested in Blender, 
Vendakit as well and use the link in the description. Then you'll get a 10% discount when buying the pro version for three days after clicking the link. They have unlimited downloads and something like 20,000 3D models, 7,000 textures. So if you want to speed up your 3D workflow as well, go to this link or the link in the description. But now the idea for today is another underwater scene. I want to have this record player standing underwater and it's playing a vinyl record made out of gold. And instead of music, there is blue mist coming out from that sound playing thing. First I'll make a basic underwater scene with a gramophone in it. And the rudimentary environment is done now, so I'll now focus on the gramophone playing the blue light and all the creatures that come out of it. Okay, I think I'm done with the blue mist and animals coming out of the gramophone, so I'll finish up the environment. And now it's done. But before I show you the final render, I have to make a confession. I rendered the scene overnight, but the result was so flickery that I had to go back and disable the sun lamp which was causing the caustics which were causing the flicker, even though the time already ran out. But now that you know that, here's the final render. Yes, I know, I know. The animation was amazing. Yeah, so cinematic. Today, I only have two hours to finish the scene and I'm gonna make the most complicated one yet. Why did I save the most complicated scene for when I only have so little time left? Mm -hmm. I don't know, but I did. The idea is the spec alley scene. Look at all those small little tiny details. Two hours on the clock. Let's get started by placing a couple of houses throughout the scene. I'll have to add a staircase that goes from here to here and a lot of decorations. So I'll do that and now it's done. So here is the day six render. It's the final day and today I only have one hour to create a Bob Ross mountain scene. First I'll make the ground plane, mountain and a bit of atmosphere. Okay that's done, so next I'll make the lake, the grass and now I'm done with the grass so I'll move on to adding some other plants and stones and basically finishing the scene. So now it's done, here is the final render. And I'm not that happy with it but for being made in one hour it's pretty good. 